The board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Matthias. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Kotar. Alderman Conway. Alderman Gunther. Alderman Vollmer. Alderwoman Martin. Alderman Arnowitz? Here. Alderwoman Murphy? Here. Alderwoman Howard? Present. Alderwoman Green? Present. Alderman Oldenburg? Present. Alderman Rohde? Alderman Kennedy? Here. Alderwoman Davis? Alderwoman Spencer? Present. Alderman Muhammad? Present. Alderman Boyd? Alderman Vaccaro, Present. Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cone, Present. Alderman Williamson, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderwoman Navarro, President Reed, here. Alderman Bosley, Alderman Moore. Alderwoman Hubbard, Alderwoman Martin, Alderman Rohde, Alderwoman Davis, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Williamson, Alderwoman Navarro, 20 present. Quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by Reverend Marcus Adams. Thank you, President Reed. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, the God of all things, the creator of all things, our prayer today is that you come into this place and we ask that the spirit of unity and compromise prevail that progressive dialogue takes place as our legislative leaders here present discuss public policy. Let the will of the people be met and their needs be met as they make important decisions in this place. Also, we ask that the spirit of unity prevails, the spirit of compromise prevails, that there's no conflict between media and politics, that only unity and harmony will exist. These are the things we ask in your son's precious name. And the whole house said, Amen. Let's give uh, Reverend Marcus Adams a round of applause for helping us start out the morning. Introduction of honored guests. Any introduction of honored guests? All one from the 14th. Uh, I'd like to my today, Jeff Lewis Hamilton, um, Scott Vaughn from the Missouri Times, and Ben Stryker, his guest, and Demetrius Alfred from Firefighters Local 73. All the from the 15th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would like to have as my special guest today, Corinne Chester and uh, Cecil King from Normal. Alderman from the 8th. Good morning, Mr. President, members of the board. I'd like to have as my special guest today, uh, Mr. Mark Stoff, who is the chairman of the 8th Ward Democrats. And I would also like to introduce a third-year law student on his way, Mr. Dante Tempertip. He's a third-year law student at St. Louis University. All in from the 22nd. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I have several honored guests this morning. Mr. Ken Franklin with Metro, Alana Green, the Executive Director of Community Development Agency, Sheila Jones, Amron, Missouri, and Leroy Grant with AT&T. All one from 13. President, members of the board, I'd like to have as my honor gets this morning um, Jeff Hans and Samuel Adams from the St. Louis and Kansas City Carpenters Regional Council. 
All the one from the 14th. Mr. President and esteemed colleagues, I overlook Clinton McBride from the Laborers Union. All one from the first. Good morning, Mr. President, members of the board. I have as my honored guest, Mr. Winfield Scott, who is a retired St. Louis firefighter, and Mr. Kalen Hodges, who is a business person, young business person in St. Louis City, who's going to make sure we uh, are able to have our retirement and our Social Security, because he's working to make sure he pays for that. Yeah, a very, <laughs> very young businessman. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep it. Yeah. All the men from the ninth. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to uh, introduce as my honored guest today my state representative, Bruce Franks, Jr., in the back. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? We also have with us, and I'm going to ask you guys as a group to stand up, we have the Missouri Coalition for the Environment, uh, organizing, Organization for Action, uh, Interfaith uh, Powers, uh, Climate Reality, Resist and Green City Coalition. Let's give them a big round of applause and thank you for the work that you all do within the community. Thank you. All the men from the 10th like to wrap us up. Well, yes, <laughs> thank you, Mr. President. I actually do have a guest today okay. from the Collector of Revenues Office. Well, I had to dig one up. He's a relative, Tom Bomber. <laughs> <laughs> And you folks thought I didn't know anybody. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> As we were gathered here, <laughs> guy's my first cousin. Yeah, we are here on uh, October 27th. On this day in 1858, Teddy Roosevelt was born. In 1960, Ben E. King recorded the famous song, Stand By Me. And in 1964, Sonny and Cher were married. I'm sure we all marked that date. <laughs> but most importantly, this is Frankenstein Day as we're on the eve of Halloween. And I'd like to thank the Oliver from the 23rd for participating, but you can take your mask off now. <laughs> all the one, one from the 27th. I think you're going to be in trouble for that. All the all uh, one from the 27th. President, I, I'm sorry. I'd like to uh, welcome our guests, Recoro Fellows, Chris Bell, Steve Hammond, and Paula Langley, and then Jim, I can't pronounce the last name. Yes, Merle and Fred Searcy. Any further introductions? Any further introductions? All right. Alderman from the 18th, recognize on approval of the minutes. President, members of the board, I move that the minutes of the September 5th, 22nd, 29th, and October 6th meetings be approved. Moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Polls. Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in sections A, B, and C of the agenda and have them placed in all Alderman's mailboxes. We will dispense with line item seven. Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? All the one from the 15th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I would like to take uh, board bill number 137 off the informal calendar and onto the uh, perfection calendar. Okay. All right. Madam Clerk, please make note of that. Place board bill 137 on the regular perfection calendar. So noted. Would anyone like to take any further bills from any of our informal calendars? We we'll dispense with line items 9 and 10 first reading board bills. Board Bill 177, sponsored by Alderman Muhammad, an ordinance to amend Section 140.030 of the Revised Code, being Ordinance 69984, establishing a civilian oversight board and approved June the 6th, 2015, by adding a new paragraph 11 to Section 140.030 of the Revised Code of the City, titled Removal of Members allowing for the removal of members by the COB by the passage of, the bo of a board bill sponsored by a member of the Board of Aldermen whose ward is located within the COB district represented by the COB member calling for said member's removal and the vacancy occasion thereby to be fill filled as set forth in vacancy section 
140.030 of the revised code of the city board bill 178 sponsored by alderman kotar and ordinance establishing a three-way stop site at the intersection of missouri and and regulating all traffic traveling southbound on missouri at and and regulating all traffic traveling on eastbound and westbound and at missouri and containing an emergency clause board bill 179 sponsored by alderman vaccaro and ordinance establishing a four-way stop site at the intersection of bancroft and and pray the regulating all traffic traveling eastbound and westbound on Bancroft at Prather and regulating all traffic traveling northbound and southbound on Prather at Bancroft and containing an emergency clause board bill 180 sponsored by Alderwoman and Aldermen Green, Bosley, Cone, Gunther, and Gracia, and Williamson, an ordinance concerning the use of city resources to amend marijuana laws within the city to amend Ordinance 69429 to regulate the use of city resources to enforce laws against marijuana and marijuana paraphernalia, to enforce marijuana laws by re restricting illegal acts regarding marijuana uses, usage or possession, to allow for police use of marijuana as cause for reasonable suspicion in searches, to minimize disproportionate penalties for violations, to prioritize enforcement activities of the city, including the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department, and to eliminate redundant law enforcement of marijuana laws where adequate enforcement exists under federal law, which prohibits the same conduct. The, the ordinance contains a savings provision and a severability provision. That's the extent of our first reading. Madam Clerk, please sign Board Bill 180 of the legislation. So noted. A reference to committee. To the Public Safety Committee, Board Bill 177. To the Streets Committee, Board Bill 178 and 179. And to the Legislation Committee, Board Bill 180. That's the extent of reference to committee. All the one from the 14th. President, please excuse me. Uh, I missed my cue here. I would like to move Board Bill 132, Committee Substitute, to the Perfection Consent Calendar. Uh, the, you mean the third reading? Third reading, and uh, I have uh, a floor uh, substitute also. Uh, okay. If you, why don't we do this? Move it uh, to the regular third reading calendar, and when we get to third reading, we'll take it up. Madam Clerk, please. Thank you. Please place Board Bill 132, Committee Substitute, at the tail end of the third reading calendar. So noted. Thank you all. Second reading. The following board bill was reported out of the Health and Human Services Committee, Board Bill 176, sponsored by Alderman Arnowitz, and on its authorizing and directing the Director of Health to enter into and execute a cooperative Cooperative Agreement Award with the U.S. Department of Justice Office of Juvenile Project upon approval of the Board of Estimate and Apportionment and to expend funds by entering two contracts or otherwise for the Cooperative Agreement Award purposes and containing an emergency clause. That's the extent of our second reading. We will dispense with line item 14, Perfection Consent. Board Bill 140, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 55, 53 35 Gilson, Board Bill 143, sponsored by Alderman Balmer, and ordinance moving redevelopment plan for 5345 Daggett, Board Bill 144, sponsored by Alderwoman Spencer, and ordinance approving redevelopment plan for 3442 through 44 California, Board Bill 145, sponsored by Alderman Moore, and ordinance approving a blighting study and a redevelopment plan for site. St. Ferdinand Phase 2 redevelopment area containing a severability clause, Board Bill 147, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 4131 Flora Place, Board Bill 148, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 4212 Botanical, Board Bill 149, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3931 Russell, Board Bill 150, sponsored by Alderwoman Ingracia, and ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2806 through 12 Locust, Board Bill 
Bill 151, sponsored by Alderman Ogilvy, and known as a redevelopment plan for 6755, 6767, 6769 Nashville, War Bill 152, sponsored by Alderman Williamson, and known as a redevelopment plan for 1416 through 18 Union, Board Bill 153, sponsored by Alderman Kotar, and known as a redevelopment plan for 2330 through 32 South 12th Street, Board Bill 154, sponsored by Alderman Kotar, and known as a redevelopment plan for 2263 through, through 65 Indiana, Board Bill 155, sponsored by Alderman Spencer, and known as a redevelopment plan for 3422 Oregon, Board Bill 156, sponsored by Alderman Moore, and known as amending on a 65955 by expanding the boundary of the 39 through 3922 through 68, 3919 through 29, 3939 through 67 Lincoln redevelopment area to include 3937 Lincoln, renaming the area. 3922 through 68, 3919 through 29, and 3937 through 67 Lincoln redevelopment area. Board Bill 157, sponsored by Alderman Gunther and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 3325 Wisconsin. Board Bill 158, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 1302 Boyle. Board Bill 159, sponsored by Alderman Kotar and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 1001 through 03 Russell. Board Bill 160, sponsored by Alderman Kotar and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 2222 Menard. Board Bill 161, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 4170 through 4174 Manchester. Board Bill 162, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 4211, 4219, and 4235 through 39 Shoto. Board Bill 163, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan for 4330 and 4337 Gibson, and 4210 Shoto. Board Bill 164, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance approving a redevelopment plan. Plan for 4310 through 20 Vista Board Bill 165, sponsored by Alderman Rohde, and Ordinance Moving Redevelopment Plan for 1115 through 23 North Newstead Avenue. Board Bill 166, sponsored by Alderman Conway, and Ordinance Moving Redevelopment Plan for 3441 through 51 Junietta. Board Bill 173, sponsored by Alderman Boyd, and Ordinance Moving Redevelopment Plan for 2809 Belt. Board Bill 103, sponsored by Alderman Kennedy, and Ordinance to Change the Zoning of Property from C, multiple family dwelling district, to G, local commercial and office district for property at 3866 through 68 Windsor Place and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 104, sponsored by Alderman, sponsored by President Reed and ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning property in city block from C, multiple family dwelling, and J, industrial, to the J, industrial uh, for property at 4115 North Broadway and 815 and 817 Angelica Street, containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 106, sponsored by Alderwoman Hubbard and Alderman Bosley, and ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission to change the zoning of properties from multiple city blocks, from C, multiple family dwelling, and D, multiple family dwelling, and F, neighborhood commercial, and A, single family dwelling district, and G, local commercial and office district, and J, industrial, to H, area commercial district for properties on Benton, Cass, North Jefferson, Madison, Maiden, Montgomery, Melanthe, North Market, North 22nd Street, North 23rd Street, North 25th Street, and Warren, and containing an emergency clause, Board Bill 115, sponsored by Alderman Williamson, Alderman Tyus, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ingrassi, and Alderman Gunther, and Alderman Navarro, and Ernest renaming City Park, Park in the 26th Ward, known as Parkland Park, to a new name of said park to be Frank Williamson Senior Park and containing an emergency clause. That's the extent of perfection consent. Alderman from the 18th, you recognized on the motion for the perfection consent calendar. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for adoption of the perfection consent calendar. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 12th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Board bills for perfection. Board Bill 123 as amended, sponsored by Alderman Rohde and artists recommended by the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, authorizing the mayor to submit 2018 annual action plan 
to the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development to apply for funding under the Federal Community Development Block Grant Home Investment Partnership Emergency Solutions Grant and Housing Opportunities for Persons with AIDS Programs and Containing an Emergency Clause. Alderman from the 17th, you recognize on the perfection of Board Bill 123 as amended. Uh, yes, Mr. President, uh, I uh, have a four substitute for this that I would like to offer at this time. All right. Uh, we need a motion you, first. Yeah. Would, would you like to move to yeah. perfect, and yeah. then we'll move to introduce the four substitute. Move to perfect Board Bill 123. Right. Floor. It's been moved by all of them from the 17th, seconded by all of them from the 10th. Uh, now, do you have a floor substitute? Yes, uh, Mr. President, I'd like to offer a floor substitute for Board Bill 1, uh, 123. Uh, during the uh, committee process, uh, I moved to move about fifteen move fifteen thousand dollars from one of our recipients to a different one, and upon further consideration and discussion with our colleagues, um, uh, this floor substitute restores it back to its original form. So. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to move. It's been moved uh, by Donovan from the 17th that we put forward the floor substitute for 123 as amended and seconded by the one from the 19th. Uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderman Hubbard. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Kotar. Alderman Conway, Aye. Alderman Gunther, Aye. Alderman Vollmer, Aye. Alderman Martin, Aye. Alderman Onowitz, Alderman Murphy, Aye. Alderman Howard, Aye. Alderman Green, Aye. Alderman Oldenburg, Aye. Alderman Rohde, <coughs> Alderman Kennedy, Alderman Davis, Alderman Spencer, Alderman Muhammad, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cone, Alderman Williamson, Alderman Boyd. Alderwoman Navarro, President Reed. Aye. Alderwoman Tyus. Aye. Alderman Bosley. Aye. Alderman Arnowitz. Aye. Alderwoman Boyd. I didn't hear your vote. Alderwoman Navarro. Twenty-six I votes, one present. By a vote, staying the motion. Alderman from the 17th, and introduce floor substitute for Board Bill 123 as amended. Alderman from the 17th, you recognize. And um, to perfect Board Bill 123 floor substitute. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 17th that we perfect Board Bill. 123 for substitute. It's been seconded by the alderman from the 25th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, please make note. So noted. Board Bill 137, sponsored by Alderwoman Green, an ordinance to revise section 17.76.020 of the revised code. Ordinance 67757, Section 1, pertaining to residential disabled parking to allow an eligible person whose vehicle is owned by another to apply for a residential disabled parking space permit. Have some order. All one from the 15th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, I have a, an amendment to offer for uh, board bill. Uh, 137. Uh, is it a floor, in the form of a floor substitute or just an no, amendment? No, uh, as an amendment. Okay. Uh, would you first you need to make like the, to make a mo motion and second then. I would like to make a motion to introduce amendment number one to board bill 137. But uh, we have to um, we have to get 
the first motion and the second, and then we to perfect it, and then we'll come back. For I that. thought we had to do an amendment before we perfected. No, you you have to. We have to get it before us first. So just make a motion to perfect board bill. I'd like to make a motion to perfect board bill 137. Been moved by the alderman from the 15th, Second. and seconded by the alderman from the 25th. Now, any discussion at this point is when you do your your amendment. Thank you. Um, now I would like to move to introduce amendment number one to board bill 137. It's been moved all of them from the 15th, seconded by all of them from the 25th. Uh, please proceed. Thanks. Uh, amendment number one is just clarifying a little bit of language here. Um, been going back and forth with the Office of the Disabled and um, and they finally agreed that instead of saying five days or nights per week, um, that we can take out that line and instead put regularly. Um, basically what this does is right now there are folks in our city, particularly low income folks, who have state license plates that are handicap accessible that designate it as you know, the ability to um, park in a handicapped parking space, but our current ordinance all, only allows for the person who the vehicle is registered to, to apply for a handicap designation in front of their house. And so what ends up happening um, is folks that are low income, who maybe their parent owns the car or their caretaker owns the car, but they drive it a significant point portion of the time, they're not eligible to um, get that, that designation in front of their house. So basically this kind of closes up that loophole, makes sure that people who can get the handicap designation plates, um, even if they, the car isn't registered to them, um, are able to park in front of their house. Okay. Any discussion on amendment number one to board bill 137? All the women for the first? Um, Mr. President, members of the board, if the alderman from the 15th would yield. Alderman sure. from the 15th will yield to the Please proceed, Alderman. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, will the, so the person who will have their own uh, handicap uh, sticker? So they already have it. Right. Um, but right now, if, they, say, the car is registered to their parents, even though the, you know, the person has the handicap designation, they're not eligible for. But will they space. be able to use, park and say, a senior citizen lives two houses down. I already know what people are going to ask. Will they be able to park in the two houses down, or will it be designated just for that they are a caretaker and they can do it right at that house? It'll be designated just for that house. All right, thank you. Um, that's all the questions. Uh, I rise in support of this uh, uh, board bill, and in fact, it's something I have been working on because I hear all the time from seniors who are in their 80s and 90s and they have people who take care of them and young able-bodied people uh, like us people in our 60s and 50s we park <laughs> we park in front of their houses and, and 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 especially 40s and 30s and I'm not even gonna talk about the people that 20 they can walk a mile um, we tend to park in front of their houses and people have to drop people off and um, it really used to be a respect when I grew up that you didn't park in front of anybody else's house you parked in front of your own house but now we have uh, situations where people have uh, three four cars and they don't even uh, look at the fact who's li look at who's living in that house and that there ought to be a little respect if you got three or four cars you need to put some parking in your back or put a garage or parking pad or something because it's really just not fair and especially uh, if you're young it's okay for you to do that but as you get older and you need people to help you out you ought to be able to have a place where they can drop you off and help and, and put you back in your car or people whatever they do that they should be able to park there and help you out so I think this is a great idea and I appreciate you for introducing this board bill all right thank you any further discussion alderman from the 12th thank you mr. president members of the board um, I, I just have one question I've ran into this situation in my ward uh, uh, the lady says, my niece comes and picks me up once a week, but when we come back with groceries, we sometimes don't have places to park. So I guess my question is, so if you have handicapped parking for that address and someone can use it, is it fair for everybody else because it is public parking for six days or seven days that nobody's parking in that spot for any reason? Pertains to uh, right, all, all men, would you like to all the one from the 15th? I'm know? sorry. Yes. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. All the one, I'm getting old. Yeah. <laughs> all the one from the 15th. Will you yield to question yes, until all the from 12th? I will. All the one from the 12th. Please proceed. I can answer your question. Go ahead. Um, 
So this is just for people who are regularly parked there. So if they're just coming one day a week, you're not going to be eligible to, to get a spot. It's you know people who live at that residence who are parking there on a, uh, on a you know, all the time, but like the case of my resident, mm. um, it's a son who has the disability and right. the car is registered to the parents. And, um, and it would make it a lot easier on them if they're able to have that um, disabled parking space in front of their house um, to help with their son. Okay, thank you, Alder Woman. I, I just wanted to hear clarification. I have no problem. Okay, thank you. All right. Alderman from the 8th. Um, Mr. President, or will the, will the Alderman from the 15th yield? Alderman from the 15th will yield to the Alderman from the 8th. Okay, so this Alderman amendment. Alderman from the 8th, please proceed. Um, this is amendment number one to board bill number 137. I'm looking at 137. And uh, it doesn't it doesn't line up with your amendment. We just realized that, and they are printing a new. It should be page two, not page one. That's right. Terrence just handed it out. <laughs> okay. Now, is there um, a board bill 137 as amended anywhere? Okay, so wh which one are we amending? 137 or as amended? 137 as amended is the, the amended version. We are amending 137. Oh, okay. And now your thing says on page two, line seven. I'll take a look at that. Thank you. All right. Any further discussion? Alderman from 23rd. Will the alderman yield for questions? Alderman from the 15th, will you please proceed, alderman. Can you define regularly? Uh, so regularly, um, you know, what the, um, the folks at the Office, office of Disabled said is basically um, they wanted to leave it open. They didn't want us to put the five days like we initially had um, because regularly could be different for different people. Um, so we're thinking, you know, on an ongoing basis. So the majority of the time. Okay, thank you. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? <laughs> yes. Would you, uh, since the since the original amendment was was um, was wasn't put together put together appropriately, would you like to with, withdraw that and offer a new amendment? Yes. That I clarifies what you mean. I will withdraw uh, amendment one. And the alderman from the 25th withdraws his uh, second. Alderman from the 25th. Alderman from the 25th. Alderman from the 25th. Could somebody tap the Alderman from the 25th? He's having a conversation over there. Alderman from the 25th. Alderman from the 25th. Would you like to withdraw your second? Second. All right, thank you. And so you withdraw your first. Please proceed. Now, please proceed. Okay, now I'd like to move to introduce New amendment number one. It's been moved by the all one from the 15th that we had introduced the new amendment number one. Enter, entertain a second on that motion. Second by the all one from the 20th. Now, please proceed. Please proceed. It's just updated to have the correct page number. The edits are on page two, not page one. Okay. So. All right. Thank you. Any discussion on amendment number one to board bill 137? Any discussion? It's been moved. It is, it's been moved by the other one from the 15th, seconded by the other one from the 20th, that we amend Board Bill 137. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Please proceed, all of them. I'd like to. Uh, now that it's been amended, I would like to uh, move for perfection of Board Bill 137 as yeah. amended. No, it's already been moved and seconded. The only thing you have to do now is 
if you're, there's any further discussion that you would like to, anything else you would like to add. Any no further way. discussion on Board Bill 137 as amended? It's been moved by the all one from the 15th, seconded by the all one from the 25th, that we perfect Board Bill 137 as amended. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, motion carries. That's the extent of Board Bills for perfection. All the one from the 14th. Mr. President, I would like to move Board Bill 132 committee substitute back to committee at this time. All right, it's been, it's been moved by the all the one from the 14th that we move Board Bill, which one was? 132 committee substitute back to committee. It's been moved by the alderman from the 14th, seconded by the alderman from the 25th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Oppose? Motion carries. Madam Clerk, please make note of that. So noted. Third reading consent. Board Bill 121. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on the motion for the third reading consent calendar. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for adoption of the third reading consent calendar. We move by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 12th. Any discussion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Moore. Alderman Hubbard. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Kotar? Aye. Alderman Conway? Aye. Alderman Gunther? Aye. Alderman Vollmer? Aye. Alderman Martin? Aye. Alderman Arnowitz? Aye. Alderman Murphy? Aye. Alderman Howard? Aye. Alderman Green? Aye. Alderman Oldenburg? Aye. Alderman Rohde? Aye. Alderman Kennedy? Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Muhammad, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vaccaro, Alderman Ogilvy, Alderman Cone, Alderman Williamson, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderwoman Navarro, President Reed. Aye. Alderwoman Hubbard. Alderwoman Navarro. 27, I vote. By a vote, you stand the motion. Alderman from the 18th and 3rd read and finally passed the aforementioned bills. Third reading report of engrossments. We have none. Report of enrollment. Board Bill 121. All other business being suspended, the President shall in open session affix his signature here too to the end that these may become law. <laughs> All the ones from the 19th, you recognize on the motion for the courtesy resolution calendar. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. I move that we adopt the courtesy resolution consent calendar. Moved by the all on from the 19th, seconded by the all on from the 26th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. First, read, first reading resolutions? We have none. Second reading. The following resolution was reported out of the Legislation Committee, Resolution 124, sponsored by President Reed. The Board of Aldermen authorizes the city's sustainability plan and calls for the city to commit to transition to 100% clean energy in the form of wind and solar and energy efficiency measures within the electricity sector by 2035. Alderman, Alderman from the 18th, you recognize on second reading of Resolution 124. Mr. President, members of the board, I move for adoption of Resolution 124. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 26th. Please proceed, Alderman. Yeah, I am making this motion on behalf of the sponsor and in my role as the, what is it, floor majority leader. Uh, this particular resolution uh, was passed unanimously by committee to be sent back to the board for its consideration. 
It simply requests or calls upon the city to commit to transitioning the city to 100 percent clean energy by 2035. It also urges the city and requests it to develop a plan by December of 2018 and to create this plan for sustainability in a very uh, large community engagement process. Uh, and as we know, resolution simply put the Board of Aldermen on record as to its feelings about a given uh, situation or issue, and so this resolution does the same. Right. It did pass out of committee with unanimous consent. All right, thank you. Uh, Alderman from the 24th. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, resolution 124 is, is fine, uh, but I did not want anybody to leave. Um, we got, I got over 100 emails about this resolution, which is certainly uh, not typical uh, for most resolutions. So, and the, the, the language in those emails implied that people may believe that this resolution um, actually, actually compels the city to transition to 100% renewable energy by 2035. At least that, that's how I read the emails I had received. So I wouldn't want anybody to leave with the idea that that is what the resolution does based on those emails. The resolution creates um, sort of a community engagement framework to talk about uh, moving towards renewable energy, um, which is fine, but, but just may not be what people uh, thought that the resolution was about. I'll also point out, if this is how we really feel, uh, there are board bills like Board Bill 31 for the Residential PACE program, which authorizes um, energy efficient upgrades to residential properties that have been uh, languishing committee for two years now. Um, so if, if this is really our intent to move to renewable energy, uh, I hope we see action on, on Board Bill 31 quickly. And I hope that uh, you know, we don't uh, fall into the trap of enacting uh, what, what St. Louis County may do by dramatically reducing the energy efficiency of uh, the residential building code in the county. I hope we uh, stick with the current building code we have or hopefully upgrade it to a more energy efficient code. So uh, those are my comments, and uh, we can now proceed with passing Resolution 124. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All the one from the 19th. <laughs> thank you, Mr. President, <laughs> members of the board. I, too, just wanted to give a little bit of clarification and understanding, and I would like to have my name added to this bill, please, in support. All right, uh, thank you. One of the things that many people don't know or have not had the opportunity to have the information, uh, there's been quite a bit of work done in this region over the last 10 years on these particular opportunities for us to improve efficiency. But aside from that, what we have learned in working with the sustainability plan for the city of St. Louis is that every measure that we look at also provides us with a better quality of life in our environment, and it also brings us sustainability on the economic level. So it creates new jobs, uh, it improves the opportunity for spending to be done wiser. And so know that as the alderman from the 24th, said in a very different way, it is an opportunity to grow towards that endeavor, but also work with those other entities that are out here very strongly working towards that goal. And for those who have been here a while, if you took the tour uh, with uh, Amarin about seven years ago, they have a very strong plan toward improving energy. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I just wanted to say, I hope we stay on path with this and we continue to be involved. Thank you. All right, thank you. Alderman from the 23rd. Yes, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'm in, staying in favor of this. It's, it's really a shame sometimes that everybody doesn't get to see everything you see in the committee hearing. We saw a lot of uh, graphs and charts and, and things that will actually help move the city forward. And uh, it came out of legislation unanimously. And the original goal was to hold a second meeting, but it was so uh, popular in a sense that we went ahead and took that vote that night. And I believe everyone on the committee added their name, which if anybody would like to add their name, certainly do so. What, what something like this does, it at least puts it out there. There's gonna be board bills that are, have already come up in board bills that will come up in the future based off of these goals. So I you know, I'm just want to speak, obviously, in favor of the resolution. If anybody would like to add their name, certainly please let uh, the clerk know. 
And uh, I would just ask that we go ahead and pass this out of here, and I'm, I'm sure we will. Thank you. All right, thank you. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Uh, also, Madam Clark, there's a whole list of names uh, that should have been added as co-sponsors from the committee hearing. Can you make sure that all those names are added? And uh, anyone here on the floor who would like their name added, make sure you get to her. Alderman from the 25th, did you? I, thank you, Mr. President. Recycle them, Ben. I just Good idea. To, uh, you know, while we're on the topic of environment, uh, you know, one, uh, Madam Clerk, if you would add my name to the resolution, I'd appreciate it. But also, you know, would like to uh, recognize that we did finally, um, I've been down here for nine years. I know there's many of us that have been down here longer, but finally this Friday, it's the first Friday that we actually have recycle bins at our desk there down here go. at the Board of Aldermen. Yeah. So uh, thank you. We're finally doing it. And Alderman, from, from the 25th, I'd like to thank you for that recommendation last week because that got us there, so I appreciate it. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Alderman, from the 18th, you recognize the close. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Um, the Alderman from the 26th would also like his name added. All right, please make resolution. that note. And all court. others are also welcome. Okay. Uh, with that, the Alderman from the 26th wants his name on it. Uh, with that, Mr. President, I would renew my motion. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 18th, seconded by the Alderman from the 26th, that we adopt Resolution 124. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. Congratulations, everybody. <laughs> yeah. That's the extent of second reading of resolution. I'm excited for us as a city. Uh, Ms. Lane is unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. The only announcement I have is Friday, November the 3rd, full board meeting, 10 a.m. in the chambers. That's the extent of my announcements. Alderman from the 21st. Hey, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, October 31st, a member of our body will celebrate his 70th birthday, and it is the distinguished gentleman from the 4th Ward, Alderman Sam Moore. <laughs> That's my my pastor, <laughs> all, the, all the men from the eighth. Um, well, Freddie's back. No. <laughs> um, we will have a Ways and Means Committee Thursday at 9 a.m. and um, Madam Clerk, or um, I'll let you know the bills. Um, I know that the. We'll have about three bills that we want on there, and I'll give you those numbers. But go ahead and get that meeting down. All right. On for the 18th, you have an announcement? Yep. Yes, Mr. President. Okay. A public safety committee meeting on Tuesday, and I will also give you the bills. All right. 10 a.m. Kennedy Room. 10 a.m. Kennedy. 10 a.m. in the Kennedy, Kennedy room. room. Don't let anybody else take that time from public <laughs> safety committee. 10 a.m. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Thank you. All of them from the 22nd. Thank you, Mr. President, uh, I'd like to call a streets hearing for Tuesday at 9 a.m. in the leisure room. Um, the 22nd Ward is having this ward meeting on Tuesday. Yes, it's Halloween, but it's still going on from 6 to 7.30 at the Omega Center. From 6 to 7.30 on Halloween at the Omega Center, we will have the mayor there. I would also like to send a cheap plug out to my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Well, welcome. Happy birthday to you, mom. And I also like to say happy anniversary to my wife for 27 years of putting up with me. Alderman from the 25th. Yeah. Alderman from the 25th. Sorry, I've uh, been a little distracted this morning at the meeting with uh, <laughs> other conversations. Um, I would like to announce uh, Diversity Church at Itasca and Compton is having a trunk or treat tomorrow, uh, Saturday. I believe it starts at 2 p.m. Um, also, St. Anthony's Parish is having their trunk or treat uh, the evening of Halloween. It starts at, I believe, 5.30 p.m. Um, they're both wonderful organizations and wonderful events and provide a safe space for young people in our neighborhood to come out and enjoy themselves. Um, I know St. Anthony's uh, provides hot dogs for the families that come through as well um, through their food pantry. And then um, I'll be handing out uh, toothbrushes at both of them to uh, promote dental health and safety uh, for the young people. And uh, anyways, come out and enjoy the Dutchtown Trunk or Treats.
All right. Alderman from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President and members of the board. The Secret Service has asked me not to tell you guys that Bill Clinton is coming to my garden on Sarah and Evans. Awesome. Next month will be former president Bill Clinton will be coming to visit the fourth ward oh, in our farm zone. Excellent. So don't get excited. You're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All along from the first. Mr. President, members of the board, I also want to wish the esteemed colleague of mine from the fourth ward a uh, uh, happy 60th birthday. I know the young man from the 21st got it wrong because the alderman told me he was only 60, not 70. So yeah. we've taken 10 years off of that age, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also I would like to introduce my special uh, guest, Ms. Joanne Williams. Welcome, Joanne. And uh, in keeping with, there's always somebody been married a little longer than you. On October the 29th, um, I will celebrate my 29th anniversary with my boyfriend, 29 years of marriage. Happy anniversary to my boyfriend, Sterling Miller. Congratulations. All the one from the 14th. Good morning, everyone. I would like to remind everyone that uh, the Better Bevo Now organization is having a trunk or treat at St. John's Parish, 4200 Delore. I'd also like to wish a happy birthday to the Alderman Moore and happy anniversary to Alderwoman Tyus and her husband. Thank you so much. Alderman from the fourth. My birthday, I can show out. <laughs> I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention Andre McKinney from my ward is in the, up in the balcony. And wherever Dwayne Evans is, my committee woman was supposed to be here today. And also of you who weren't special guests, you are my special guests. All right. All the one from the 19th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I wanted to announce on this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Harrison Center, which is a campus of Forest Park Community College. We'll be having a book fair and luncheon, and of course some Halloween treats uh, for kids. We'll be giving away free books, storytelling, all of that. And know that in, in the 19th Ward, when you go in Jeff Vandaloo, there are two people that are always gonna be busy. And that's Rosie Willis with the Fresh Start Garden. She is a storyteller as well, she'll be present. And of course, Carla and Miguel Alexander with Tilly's Corner who are co-sponsoring co that event with them. Also on Tuesday, Halloween, we'll have a trunk or treat at uh, Tiffany Park and it'll start at six o'clock and hopefully we will have a great time for the children. Also in the uh, Leon Strauss Park at Grand and Washington on Halloween, there'll be a lot of treats there for kids and live music and a lot of entertainment going on. Thank you. All right, thank you, Alderman. Alderman from the third. Uh, good, good afternoon, well good morning. Is it afternoon yet? Good morning. What's going on? Okay, good morning. How's everybody yeah. doing today? Um, I just wanted to say we're having a spectacular event in Hyde Park on the 31st. Um, so like everybody else, having you know, a nice Halloween time. We also will have a haunted house in the park, so if you get a chance, come on down from five to eight. And I also would say, like to say happy birthday. All right, thank All you. Right. <laughs> Alderman from the 21st. President, also, if anyone is free tomorrow morning, we are painting uh, Yateman Liddell Middle School in my ward on F Line Avenue. We are painting with the school colors. Uh, Sharon Williams was most generous to donate the paint, but we do need volunteers to come out. So if you are free tomorrow morning from 8 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m., come out to Gateman School and uh, help the kids paint. All right? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Any further announcements? Any further announcements? Uh, also, directly following the board meeting, uh, there will be a press conference on the stairs of Rotunda. So I'll ask everybody to join us out there So uh, with the various different coalitions that are here today as we get St. Louis ready for 100. So that's the official kickoff. So please join us out there in the stairs for the rotunda if you would like to be part of it. Alderman from the 18th, you recognize. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the Alderman from the 28th be excused for necessary absence. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 18th. Entertain a second on it, second by the Alderman from the 10th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Pose. Motion carries. 
All in front of the 18th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Mr. President, members of the board, I move that the board adjourns until Friday, November 3rd, 2017. Moved by the all in front of the 18th, seconded by the all in front of the 10th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed. Stand adjourned.